Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here, and I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be doing another run of Heroes Warband. This is a really fun game with a lot of replayability. And one of the main draws of replayability comes in the fact that you could select a different warband each run, right? So I did do a previous run on this, and in said run we went with two melee units and a healer. Well today I have a bit different of a party. So we're going to go with a melee unit in the Cavalier because the Cavalier looks awesome. We have an archer called the Windstrider here as our ranged unit. And then we also have the healer. It's really tough to move off the healer with permadeath in effect, right? So this is the party we're going with here today. And just real quick, I want to say if you did see the first video, thank you so much for the viewership and support. I really do appreciate it. I mean, that video did really well. And that's why we're right back here today playing some more Heroes Warband. So let's go. Let's pop on into a new run. And I did look, and these are actually all locked up. I would have liked to have gone to one of these other locations, but they're all locked up, so we're going to have to just stick with the Grim Fang Woods. So let's go. All right, and here we are. I don't really know too much about, you know, any of our characters here, so we're going to learn just a little bit. Cavalier is obviously our, you know, kind of tank option, I suppose. I'm really excited to see how powerful the Windstrider can be. But of course, it does depend on what you get in the shop and which units you can promote. So if you want to learn just a little bit more about this game, I would probably reference you to the first video in the series. You can find it on the same playlist that you found this one on. I do go in a little more depth in explaining things in that particular one. For this one, we're just rocking and rolling. So what do we want for our first commander level upgrade here? Well, we kind of have a mix of units, right? Not really all melee, not really all ranged. I think heal amplification is probably a good one, either that or defense. Let's go with defense. I think defense, just natural defense is real solid. So let's go. We got Niall, the Cavalier. We got Zane, the Healer. And we got Lorne, the Windstrider. And we seem to be handling the enemies pretty easily here. And the Cavalier does level up. So we have Electric Slash and Crit Buff. So Crit Chance will increase to 11 when the buff is in effect. Otherwise, we have the Electric Slash, which has a stun chance. I like that. And Lorne also levels up here. Okay, so let's see. We have a Self Skill and a Normal HP buff. So 60% dodge chance while moving. Well, he's an Archer. I don't really foresee this particular character moving too often. So let's go with the HP buff, I suppose. And the Martyr. You're up next. So, Blinding Light will stun enemies or Thorn Armor. Let's go with Blinding Light. Would have loved to have secured a heal spell there. At least a, a better one, right? All right, so we do got some defense. Let's go with uh, let's go with defense again. So, I think I want to focus on defense and lifesteal just to give us a little more durability. But again, like I said, it all kind of depends on what we get in the first few rounds of the shop. We do have some loot. We have a Woodland Archer's Bow. Okay, so that is a great, great item for our Archer. Good deal. So let's pop on into the shop here, my friends, and we can promote the Martyr, it looks like, or we could add some Spellcasters. That's another interesting possibility for this run. I definitely want to go a little bit different than we did last time, right? So there's a nice bow. It's going to give our Archer just more lethal force, right? So let's see. Attack damage 3.75, it goes up to 6.75. Very, very nice. Plus a crit chance of 10. You gotta love that. Absolutely. So what do we have? We have dodge chance. We have... Okay, so we have two, like, mage weapons. Let's definitely promote the martyr. And the martyr turns into what resembles, like, the Final Fantasy 1 white mage here. I really do like that sprite. I appreciate that sprite for sure. And then we have what's called the Spell Weave. So a Spell Weaver. Do we add one of these just as a Spellcaster? Sure. I mean, I think we probably should, right? Otherwise, we do have two sponsors. So we have the Matrix Sponsor, which is giving us increased attack speed. And we have the Glacial Sponsor, a slow chance. Okay, cool. Should we add a Spell Weave? I think we should. Let's do it. Why not? All right, we got Finn the Spell Weave. Let's see how uh, we do. Let's go. All right, so a lot is kind of depending on the Cavalier, you know, staying upright, healing. So I think I want to go with some life steal for sure. Looks like the spell weave is just a ranged spellcaster. Really kind of curious to see what type of skills the spell weave learns. 
And I guess we're going to find out right here because the level up comes quickly. We have split shot or normal dash. Obviously, we're going to go with split shot. We're not talking about fishing lines here either, my friends. All right, let's go with unit lifesteal or HP regen. Let's go with lifesteal. All right, we have level two for the adept, well, level three, but the second level up. So heaven strike or dodge buff. I mean, do you really dodge effectively on a horse? I guess that's kind of my question. Otherwise, we have another stunning move here. So cooldown is six seconds and five seconds. Does do additional damage as well. I think I'm going to go with that. The Windstrider levels up here. So magic bullets. Additional damage. Change projectile to magic bullets for a duration. Otherwise, we have split shot again. Allows a hero to attack multiple enemies at once. Yeah, I like that being on multiple heroes for sure. Let's see how effective this is. I do like kind of watching my heroes and seeing them proc off their skills. Although it is a little hard to tell what's going on sometimes. I think if maybe they had a little portrait or a little banner pop up when the character is using a special skill. Just calling out the, the skill name. I think that would be a cool addition. Might get a little hard to read, but I think that would be cool. It would just put a little more character to the overall game, I do feel. So what do we have for loot here? We have the Novice's Hunter's Crossbow. So another ranger weapon. Good thing we went with the ranger in this particular one, I suppose. And then two rings. A Nexus Amulet, giving burn and poison chance. And then Lifesteal. Sounds like a perfect ring for our Cavalier. So let's get it on the Cavalier. Definitely Lifesteal, yep. And then burn and poison chance. That sounds like a great ring for our bow person. So attack damage 3, crit chance 10. This does attack damage 6, but lower attack speed. I think I like the high attack speed, at least for now. So let's just kind of keep it where it is, and look at this. We do have two wind striders available, so let's definitely use one to promote. Absolutely. Let's do that. I'm curious to see. Okay, so Lorne is now the adept wind strider. He's got kind of a white cloak and a bow now. Attack damage 8. Okay, so looking pretty, looking pretty strong. I think our Cavalier probably needs a new weapon. I believe this is a boss fight coming up next. Um, we have a long sword and a short sword. The long sword is going to add lifesteal and attack damage. Uh, yeah, long sword it is. So let's throw that on our Cavalier as well. Even though it appears he's using a lance for sure. And then should we go with another Windstrider? I mean, do we want to just go more on range units here in this one? I think we could. Let's do it. We got Craft again. Craft was a uh, member of the last run. In fact, MVP of the last run, if I recall correctly. Um, War Dancer, do we want to add another melee unit to the front lines? I mean, it's only five gold. I think we're okay not doing this. Actually, let's do it. Whatever. YOLO, right? Butcher Sponsor. So crit chance plus 14%. That is very, very good for our kit. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we just need a little more meats on the front lines. And we have Ogryn, the boss, who does skip over some of our units and get right to our weaker archers. That is a pretty smooth move there, Ogryn, but looks like you have met your match. And yes. All right, so the spell weaver does get another level up here. Priority charge. I mean, that is just a trash skill for a spellcaster for sure. So I guess we do thorn armor. I mean, I don't like this. C could we re-roll it? For four gold? Is that the cost? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. So Thunder Surge. Summons a thunderous orb exploding on impact. That sounds more like it. Let's do that for sure. We have the attack upgrade for the Cavalier. I think that's a really, really good one. Absolutely. And then we have the life steal buff or the split shot for our new wind strider. Let's go with the split shot. And then heaven strike or life steal buff. I think we grab the life steal buff. Given he's a frontliner. All right, apparently we get absolutely no loot there, although now we have 88 gold. I'm a little confused by that, but that's okay. I'm definitely willing to give that a pass. This game is a demo after all. A very early demo, I might add. But Windstrider, let's get him promoted. All right, so what do we have now? We have an elite Windstrider. Looking strong, looking strong for sure. So it looks like it didn't register what I got for loot the last go-round. That's all right. Do we get another Windstrider here? I think that's a question. Or do we go with another healer? 
I think another healer might be the appropriate choice. Yeah, let's go with another healer. It just makes sense. We got, I mean, we got to have somebody that keeps us alive. Younglings long shot. It's a novice weapon. Stun chance, attack damage, attack range. So it increases attack range. I like that. So let's sell this crossbow. I'm just not in on it. We got 67 gold here. Dream Weaver's Rod. Is this worth getting? Heal amount 7. Uh, yes, it is. So let's get it for Zane, our Adept Martyr, for sure. Oval's Ring. Skill slots plus 1. We have the Tarnished Iron Dagger. Poison chance and attack damage. I suppose we can buy that for Jira here. All right, so we could re-roll or we could just save our cash and move on. I think we should do that. We have the Light Saint sponsor now giving heal amplification up. And that's, of course, because we added another healer. So let's go. All right, let's see how this team does. We have two archers. We have a spell caster. We have two healers. And then two melee units. Cavalier taking some hits there for sure. And this gets a little scary when your backline units end up on your front line, for sure. So we have a lifesteal. Let's go with HP regen. Either that or we could go with heal amplification. Could also go with ranged damage. Definitely something... There are certain things that we could certainly go in on here. Let's go with... Let's go with more lifesteal. I think it more broadly helps our, our team. Finn, be careful. All right, so the Acolyte does upgrade here. Thorn Armor, I suppose we'll go with that one. Not a great one to get, really. Cavalier is moves very fast, as you would probably expect. Uh, we're going to go with the HP buff for Jira here. Need him to stay upright and doing damage. A Blink or Arrow Barrage. Arrow Barrage sounds great. Multiple projectiles sounds fantastic to me. Oh yeah, the ability for the Cavalier to just chase the enemy down, I'm really appreciating that right now. So we have Blink, or we have Thorn Armor, but we would of course have to forfeit a skill. I think I'm just good skipping this. He doesn't really need to move faster if you know what I mean. Alright, we have the Bronze Leaf Axe, an adept weapon. Okay, attack speed down, but attack damage way up. And then the Acolyte's Leggings. So dodge, poison, HP, and defense. I think that's a fitting piece of armor for our Cavalier. But first, let's see what we have available. So we could upgrade our Spell Weaver. I think this is probably a good idea. All right, so what do we have now? Okay, so this is like a Spell Sword. Like a Battle Mage type. Interesting that it goes with the sword, but can't equip Warrior Weapons. Interesting, but you gotta like the attack damage for sure. Martyr, absolutely. Let's get you promoted. And let's see. So we have the familiar mace-wielding cleric-looking fellow. Very strong. We had that in the last run as well. So let's see what we have for gear. So that's a bow. It looks like a ring, but it's a bow. The battle-worn steel cutter. Attack damage 7, poison chance 10. Let's see, Jira... Attack damage 2, poison chance 15. Attack damage 5, life steal 1. Looks like he can throw on the axe. So yeah, we'll definitely throw the axe on him and then... I don't think I need to waste my money on a pretty unimpressive piece of gear, for sure. Uh, we could re-roll. We got 72 gold. Let's do it. We get a cavalier. Nice. We can promote our cavalier. And look at this cool looking sprite now. An elite cavalier. That is an awesome looking sprite for sure. One thing to like about this game is the sprites for sure. So we have battle tested gauntlets. Attack speed down, movement speed down, but defense way up and max HP way up. I think that's a solid choice for the Cavalier. Then we have rusty leather armor. Attack speed up. Great choice for Jira. You do that or I mean we could even throw this on the elite wind strider. Let's do that. And let's throw the super heavy armor on our Cavalier. Who doesn't really have a problem with move speed. I mean, he's still got good move speed. All right, let's pop on into the next battle here. Looks to be a pretty normal arrangement of enemies. What do we have here, though? Any heal chance on this? Nope. All right, let's go. All 
All right, so the Cavalier falls over. Not really sure what causes that, to be honest, but it is kind of humorous and frustrating. All right, so what do we have? I mean, we could do... I'm going to do defense, I think. Yeah, let's do defense. And we have Jiro the War Dancer leveling up again. So Slash, or we have Wind Slash. So Slow Chance or Stun Chance. Let's go with Slash. And I'm keeping my eye on Finn here. What's what's he doing exactly? He's kind of shooting from a distance. Wind Strider levels up. So Stealth Skill or Normal Dash. I don't like either of those particularly much, but let's go with the stealth skill, I suppose. All right, there was a big hit that occurred here. I think Jira did that. Must have been one of his special moves, perhaps. Fighting off the centaurs, though, here, my friends. And what do we have? We have the elite attack upgrade or the heaven strike, which is also an elite skill. I think I'm going to do the elite attack upgrade for sure. It sounds like a great germane choice for the cavalier. So let's go, let's keep fighting off the centaurs, right? Horse versus horse. And we have the novice acolyte now. Dodge buff or... I'm going to see if I can get a healing boost. We have blinding light AoE healing. That sounds perfect to me. <laughs> Sometimes you just re-roll the dice and it, and it works out for you. Blinding light again. So this is the martyr who already has blinding light. This is the adept version of it though. We also have the HP buff. Let's go with the Blinding Light Adept. Sure. Like I said, it's like hard to tell exactly how useful some of these skills are. That's definitely one thing that I kind of scratch my head about this game. It's like, is this actually doing something or is it not? Right? But that's all right. All right, so we have the Blazing Sun Ring. This looks intriguing. Attack damage up, burn chance up as well. Sapphire Longbow, Elite Weapon, used by Ranger with Elite Rarity and above. I think this kind of transforms. So let's see, we ha we would have 57, and we have the gold, so let's get them both. Absolutely. So Lorne, our Elite Wind Strider. Welcome to your new Elite Weapon. Absolutely. And our Cavalier, throw on your new ring. So Lifesteal. Let's get that on Jira, I suppose. Being the frontline fellow that he is. We also have the leather leggings. Which gives more defense and max HP. I suppose he probably kind of needs that being on the front line. Like he is. Well, let's see. Is there anything else that we could do? I mean, we're kind of all in on this. Do I like the idea of maybe adding another cavalier and just dismissing? I suppose we don't have the cash anyway. So, let's just rock and roll. All right, let's see how this goes. This is a boss round, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, we did add a few elite weapons, so I'm hoping that that can kind of help tide us over. It looks like our strategy is working so far, right? Got the main DPS in the back and then just the stalwart on the front. Doing a good job. We got the War Dancer leveling up here. Both novice things, so we have the Lifesteal HP buff and then the Novice Slash. I can re-roll it. I think I'm good. Burn or stun. Stun 30, stun 40. Four seconds cooldown. Yeah, I guess we can unlearn this skill and just pick up this one. I think it's a little better. At least based on the description. Alright, so that was a boss round. For some reason, the loot doesn't show up. But if we click in here... Yeah, maybe we didn't get much. That's alright. We got 51 gold. with the Astral Ember one. What does this do? Attack speed, attack damage, crit chance. Might be a decent one for Finn here. Except for he's not elite. He's just adept. But we do have the elite Windstrider available. That means we can promote our... We can promote Lorne. So I think we absolutely have to do that. Why? Because I'm curious to see what's next. Alright, so shimmering in gold now. The elite Windstrider. Wasn't he already elite though? You know what I mean? Interesting. The Adept Ranger. So this is a Ranger. It's a different job than the Windstrider, obviously. Yeah, I thought he was already elite. 
Because he had the elite weapon on. That might be a bug in the game. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's just a demo version. But still fun. So let's go. I mean, the sprite definitely changed. Maybe it's just mislabeled. But he's starting to do some damage, it appears. Which is excellent. Alright, so, Craft has Piercing Blue Flame Arrow. Burn Chance, Pierce Through Enemies, additional damage up 7%. Otherwise, we have Bloodlust. Empowering the user with increased strength and speed. Attack damage up, Life Steal and Crit Chance up. I like that better than this. Let's keep going, boys. Let's keep going. Cavalier is actually a pretty good tank, it, it appears. Got Jira hanging in there, being healed up well. Alright, so... Defense. Do we go defense again, or do we maybe go HP regen? Lifesteal, perhaps? Let's go defense. I think we have too much unit diversity by class, right? Magic user... Well, ranged, healer, and then melee to really make use of kind of focusing on a specific attack group. But why not go defense? I think it makes sense. We have Thunder Surge here. This is the Adept skill version. Stun chance 65. Is this a repeat skill? Or is this an upgrade, perhaps? He doesn't have... Two of the same skill, does he? A split shot normal HP buff. Adept. Let's go with split shot for the elite Windstrider. Hopefully it's a skill upgrade. And our rogue guy has to be careful. Alright, Heaven Strike or Blink. This is an elite, so let's do that. It's an upgrade. Niall's looking mighty. He's looking strong. He does his job well. And you can see that AoE healing going off. Very nice. Okay, so we have Jira the War Dancer. Dodge buff. For what, though? Like, what is the cost? I think I'm good. Alright, we got some gold there. We got the iron clad leg plates. Attack speed down, movement speed down, but good defense, good HP. And then we have the Windbreaker, which is an elite ranged weapon. Excellent. Poison chance and attack damage. Attack range way up as well. Wow. Knockback force up. Sounds like a pretty effective weapon to me. All right. Let's get our elite martyr upgraded, shall we? Yeah, you bet. Now we have the mythic martyr. Tremendous. I don't know if I want to reroll here. Let's see what this amulet does. A crit chance, dodge chance, and lifesteal. Slow Bite Scepter, Heal Amount for Ragged Short Sword. See, I'm, I'm considering re-rolling, potentially. Because we got some units that, like, there's good gear here. We just got to get them promoted, right? Got a lot of elites, that's for sure. Let's throw these on him, though. suppose our most advanced unit, the Mythic Martyr, could probably use some gear. Just as a show of a good faith, Amulet of the Silent Forest is definitely good. I mean, it is. Yeah, we gotta do it. What am I thinking? Rerolling. So let's throw this on craft. Crit chance, attack damage, attack speed. Attack range, attack damage. I think that bow is just a little bit better. And we have the Windbreaker, so I do want to compare. So Sapphire Leaf Longbow. Attack range is up a little bit. Attack damage 24. Knockback force 3. This is 21. Okay, so it's less attack damage. Much greater range. A little bit less force. It poisons. I mean, it's definitely one we're going to hold on to, but I don't think it's better. It's just slightly not as good. So let's go. Another fight. All 
Alright, the first wave is dispatched of pretty easily. We have Craft the Novice Windstrider, level 6 now. Split shots, he's got Novice Arrow Barrage and Novice Bloodlust. Do we go with the attack upgrade or the bloodlust? I mean, it's doing the same damage. Duration two seconds. This lasts for three seconds. So, yeah. Bloodlust is objectively better. At least the way I, I'm reading it, right? Like I said, it's hard to tell exactly what kind of skills are going on in here. Although I do see the little icons popping up. I don't necessarily know what all the icons mean yet. So maybe that's on me. Maybe I gotta get more memorized with some Heroes Warband here. Alright, so the Novice Acolyte levels up again. The AoE Healing Lights. I do like that. Let's go with the Dodge Buff, I suppose. Maybe that'll keep her alive. In the unfortunate event that she finds the enemy on her. All right. The elite split shot here. Definitely going with that. Absolutely. And we have split shot again. The adept version. Let's go with that. Absolutely. And we get a whole bunch of loot. And move on. So we get the lion's tunic. Elite armor. Max HP 25. Defense 27. Slow chance 10. Plus a bit of attack speed. Okay. Fey Willow Wand. All right. Not very inspired by that, but... That's a very nice piece of armor that we just got, I must admit. So let's go to our Cavalier, naturally. Battle test the gauntlets, 21-25. This is 21-20, or sorry, 25-27. It's objectively better. And you love to see that, my friends. And you are not adept. So you're going to get no love at all here, Jira. But Zane could throw this on. Might keep him alive a little bit longer. Fey Willow Wand. Does have a heal amount on it. So I suppose we could throw that on our novice healer. Who has been kind of underwhelming. But, you know, doing doing the job. Keeping us healed up. Silent Shadow Vestments. So we only have three units and they're all rocking some armor. Although... Move Speed, Dodge, Burn... Yeah, we're going with this. It's a great piece of armor for Lorne. Yeah, absolutely. And then we can throw this novice armor on the War Dancer. I think we can re-roll here just to see if we get a promotion opportunity. We do not. I mean, we could re-roll again. We do have the arcane leggings here that we can't afford. Um, yes. Fifty two point seven five damage from Lorne there. Even better than the Cavalier. Pretty strong character is Lorne. Might be the MVP so far. Let's keep an eye on Lorne here in the next fight. Let's go. Boss fight time. Let's go. Alright, so we got Suman. So let's see if we can cut down Suman where Suman stands. Seems like we're doing okay so far. Suman is spending a lot of time just laying on the ground. I think that's that's probably stun is probably what that means. That's what I would think anyways. And yeah, Suman just gets dispatched easily. Which is good for us. You know, we like to see that. It means the team comp is working rather well. Now we have Jira here again with the crit buff. Or a double slash. Got the life steal. Let's let's do this crit buff. Elite Cavalier looking for the adept thrust skill. So that that one's elite. That one's elite. That one's adept. I think I'm good. All right, so that does conclude that battle round as well. And let's see what we have here, my friends. Silk weave trousers. Okay. I mean, we might find a suitor for them. Can be equipped by all, which is nice. 
And what do we have here, my friends? We've got a Windstrider and a Spellweaver available for promotion. And luckily, we have the cash money to do so, so that is exciting. Very exciting stuff, so let's go ahead and get Lorne all the way up to the top. Let's go. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. That might be a bug. It just might be glitchy. I'm not sure. But Finn did upgrade. So Finn is the elite spell weaver. I thought it was already elite. Yeah, so these characters must not be like completed yet or something. I don't know. It, it's hard for me to tell what's going on, but the sprite did change. And it's a nice looking sprite for sure. I do like the sprite work in this game. I mean, it's simple, but I think it looks real good. Yeah, I'm not sure why it doesn't let me promote Lorne. That's actually kind of troubling. I'm kind of uh, disappointed at that. But what do we do? Do we disband Craft? Just abandon him? He's not really doing too much for us. He's a novice. And go with the Elite Ranger? You know what I'm saying? Is it because it's... And for some reason... The novice Windstrider here can't can't upgrade. So I don't know what's going on. It's it's really strange. But we're going to abandon craft here. And wish him well. We're going to hire the nameless one. <laughs> Why? Because we have a windbreaker, which is an elite weapon. Definitely throwing that on. So this bow can be sold. It's garbage. Enigmatic ban, move speed, dodge chance, ragged axe. I wonder if we re-roll again. Now, I think we can handle a wave of normal enemies. So let's see what the next turn brings. Nameless one, welcome to the team. Let's go. All right, so Lorne is just getting up there like the alpha of the party for sure. All right, so we have lifesteal. We have, we've been going in on defense for sure. I, I think that's a fine one to go in on. Attack range. Yeah, let's go with the attack range. Keep our range units back a little bit. All right, so that's not a good combo. Elo versus an orc. <laughs> that's not a good combination. But we seem to be holding up pretty well. Our healers are doing their job. So our Windstrider of the Elite variety does level up here. We get Magic Bullet or Entice Ball, which is an adept skill. Conjures a ball of mana that explodes on impact. I like it. Sounds great to me. Spellweaver leveling up here. So, Elite Split Shot. Let's do that. Alright, hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, Jira. Yep, Jira has fallen. And I kind of knew that was going to happen eventually. I just I just had a feeling, my friends. I, I don't want to, you know, mark my precious units for death, but I just kind of had a feeling. Blessings of the shield. So this will buff defense. I think that's a great one to get. Get rid of this trash thorn armor. And go with that. Oh my gosh. Niall, hang in there. Hang in there, pal. Wow, he almost died too. So I think what we need is a... We need another frontliner for sure. Um, I think Niall just displayed there that he cannot tank all of the enemy fire. He just can't do it. Do we have anything available? We have a vanguard, I suppose. Either that or we simply just go all in. We go all in on Windstriders that appear to be kind of buggy. Got choices to make here, my friends. Maybe a new pair of pants will uh, suit him well. Looks like we got a whole bunch of gear. I think that's from our fallen comrade, Jira. But Arcane Leggings, HP and defense, it's going to go a long way. He desperately needs a new weapon, though, for sure. What do we have here? Blight's Plight, a mythic weapon. Usable by warrior with mythic rarity and above. Wow. Knockback 4, slow chance, plus 26 attack damage. Uh, pretty impressive stuff there, my friends. Um, it'd be nice to be able to get him to the next tier. So I think we can probably re-roll here. Not much good stuff looking. 
So let's re-roll. We have a Elite Spell Weave ready to promote. We have some Mythic Armor, a Celestial Guardian Plate. Wow. Can we afford both? No, we cannot. But we have a bunch of gear that we could sell. So let's go ahead and promote Finn. Boom. And what's Finn looking like? So Finn becomes... Like, gets on the horse now. Amazing. So a Mythic Spell Weaver level 8, my friends. You gotta love to see that. So let's get some gear on him. What do you say? Let's go with the armor. I guess one of these rings. Don't really have great gear, unfortunately. We could do this if we just sell some stuff. So let's sell some stuff. Let's get up to 40. Let's get up to 40. We're at 38. So let's sell this. 45. All right. Let's buy it. Boom. Okay, excellent. So Finn or Zane? I would say Finn is probably more deserving. Given he's basically got no other gear, which is kind of sad for the status of the unit that Finn is. We sold all of our rings, of course, so we can't throw one on this fellow here, but let's go ahead and upgrade the legs. Let's throw this on you. This on you. Who else needs some gear? You could definitely use some gear. All right, let's see if Nile can hold up. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm not going to lie. Looks like we could promote again. I'm not going to sell the mythic weapon, no, I'll tell you that. But if we could get 12. Like, who's just kind of low impact that maybe we could pull the gear off of and sell? I wish it told you what it would sell for. You know what I'm saying? 8, 11. We need 12, of course we do. All right, so that, that ring is not very inspiring. Yeah, we're definitely promoting you up, and now you're wearing the nun's garb. Can you heal more? Yes, you can. All right, looking good. Let's go. All right, Niall definitely taking a little more damage, but... We do have some good healers on our squad, for sure. Elite dodge buff or adept attack upgrade. Let's go with the attack upgrade. What I'm doing DPS. All right, stay off of Zane there. Stay off of Zane. Stay off of Zane. You get off of him. Blessings of iron. This is an adept skill. Yep, I'm going to do that. All right, just got to stick in the fight. Zane is taking way more damage than I want him to be. That's for sure. And another upgrade. So that is good. Let's go with heal amplification. I think that's fine. That's a nice looking sword right there. Whatever that is. Is it a mythic or an elite? I'm hoping it's an elite. It's a mythic. Soul blade. Wow. Okay. All right, let's see. Do we have anybody that we can get? We could add another spell weave. A mythic mage for eight gold? You kidding me? We have the ebon chard. Or sorry, ebon cord. Attack speed, attack range, attack damage. I mean, I think I add the spell weave for sure. Right? It's mythic. And just the sorry state of our... Weaponry. Let's do that. A little less damage, but that's all right. I need more gear, so I feel like we got to reroll this. 
Soul Shadow, a mythic weapon. Um, yes. Then Blazing Sun Ring, I do believe we already have that. Yeah, we do. Okay, so Finn. You've been rocking just no weapon the whole time? Well, here you go, my, my friend. 86 attack damage. Hopefully that can carry us because we got a boss fight. This might actually be the final fight if I do remember correctly. So we're going to be real tested in this one here, my friends. And it's unfortunate that we're sitting on two mythic weapons and can't do anything with them. Let's see if we can re-roll again. Alright, so we do get the Cavalier upgrade. This is actually huge. Before going into the final fight, this is huge. So we need 20 gold. Alright, so let's assess both of these weapons. Blight's Plight. 26 attack damage. Then Soul Blade does... Attack speed, 16 attack damage. Crit chance and burn chance. So let's sell this. We don't get the 20 gold. I think... I mean, that looks like a staff to me. But it says it's usable by a warrior. 26 attack damage is just... I mean, it's just better. Let's get him promoted. Let's go. Let's see what the final form. Ah, very nice. Mythic Cavalier. Looking real, real dapper there, my friend. And now we're hitting for big. Got 48 defense. Looking better all around. And, you know, it's not every day you get exactly what you need when you need it on the reroll. But we did right there. And here we go, my friends. I do believe, like I said, this is the final battle. So let's go. Wish me luck. Let's go. Zane, get off the front line. And we have Aileen. Wow, Aileen just took Nile out. Yikes, man. Okay, so they're either going to mop us up or our high DPS units are going to hold strong. We're going to find out here, my friends, the exciting conclusion. Let's go. Somebody get on Aileen. Get on Aileen. Don't kill Lorne. Get off of Lorne. Oh, yeah. Just mop the floor. But Nile does fall. Rip Nile, but my friends, we uh, we went ahead and completed the demo once again. Conquered it, absolutely. So Nile, yeah, rest in peace, Nile. Your contributions are not forgotten, right? Gone, but not forgotten for sure. But I think you got to give the MVP overall to Lorne. I think we had a really strong unit, and maybe perhaps I wasn't exactly sure how strong Lorne actually was. Probably the, the carrier, definitely. Lorne, MVP status. Even though I tried to upgrade you to Mythic like three times and it just didn't happen. <laughs> but that is another run here, my friends. A bit different of a team composition this time around, right? And I think that's part of the fun of this game. You can select a new Warband. Let's see, so we did get 22 Valor points. Maybe we can unlock a few other units. I really want to see what like a rogue type run would be with a bunch of these war dancers. I think that would be cool. Otherwise, we have gunslingers and boomsmiths. I'm gonna unlock the war dancer. I wonder what like a like a triple war dancer start would be. Kind of seems interesting to me. And then we have the grave binder, which is another mage. Do we go with that? Yeah, it's new. Let's do it. Definitely ammunition for another run here if you are interested, my friends. And if you are, please like the video. That does signal to me that, you know, you want to see another run here of Heroes Warband. We'd really appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, but you're digging the content, then please consider becoming a subscriber. We're very consistent here, my friends. And, you know, ultimately, I appreciate your viewership. If you like content like this, I'm dishing out plenty of it. So feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. So with that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for viewing. I really do appreciate it. We'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.